Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. Now we have some very important breaking news coming in from Pakistan and it is CNN News 18's exclusive that despite all the efforts put in by Pakistan it is still not on IMF uh, uh, IMF's agenda list. Now IMF execute uh, board has uh, issued schedule till 6 July 2023 and Pakistan not on the agenda list. The ninth review under the extended fund facility program remains Pending and Pakistan hopes are currently high, but the funds agenda list does not reflect Pakistan at all. So despite of doing so much effort, IMF does not include Pakistan in their agenda list. I have CNN News 18, Siddhan joining me on the phone line. Siddhan, a very good morning to you. Could you give us more details about why exactly Pakistan was excluded from this um, uh, list, uh, uh, this agenda list? And also, how is it going to impact Pakistan's economy further? Well, uh, you know, this is perhaps for the fourth time that Shehbaz Sharif uh, uh, had to, uh, uh, you know, uh, had to dial and speak to IMF chief. And in fact, uh, you know, the ninth review is currently underway, but Pakistan is nowhere on the agenda of the ninth uh, review of IMF. And perhaps uh, $350 million which IMF was supposed to give to Pakistan uh, you know, there is no clarity on that money anymore. Despite the intervention at the prime ministerial level, uh, it looks like that IMF is not going to release the next installment uh, for Pakistan. So there are multiple factors playing and perhaps multiple reasons that why IMF is not convinced with, uh, with the roadmap of economic revival which Pakistan has put forth. Now, uh, what IMF wants is uh, to to expand the tax base in Pakistan so that more revenue can come uh, into the system. Uh, IMF also wants defense cuts. So, uh, so these were the two major demands which IMF has uh, IMF has been asking Pakistan to implement religiously. Uh, maybe it's required and pass a law, but this this needs to be done to save uh, save uh, save the economy. But since it's an election year in Pakistan and Shahbaz Sharif government understand very well the ramification of, of price rise or perhaps, uh, you know, if he will offer defense cuts, then the army generals, his close associates in army are going, uh, are going to react to it and that, that would backfire politically. So to save his political capital, Shahbaz Sharif and his government is unable to take a step which could save the economy of Pakistan or perhaps uh, some, some model on which IMF can trust them. You know, they also need to show some sort of a seriousness for this entire uh, uh, call. And, and this is perhaps uh, uh, not, uh, this is a reason that the consensus couldn't be forced between IMF and Pakistan. And it looks like uh, there is you know, there's going to be no money coming from IMF to Pakistan anymore. And in fact, uh, you know, Pakistan foreign policy makers have also realized it very well. And this is a reason that now they have decided to sell their strategic assets to other countries, like they're selling uh, the Karachi port to UAE. Then they are also in talk. So that I'll have to interrupt you over there because we have